but we never think about how helping other people affects us or our family or our children. So let me just read you this letter. It's written from someone who's 19 years old. Her name is Renee Kayer. Since I was a child, I have been receiving birthday gifts from people I never met, who live in a country I may never visit, yet who have given me something I will use for a lifetime. When I was nine, my mother read an article to me from the newspaper which described the nonprofit organization, the Danan Project. It was looking for donations to help run a medical clinic in a severely drought-ridden area in Ethiopia. It described how people had walked for up to 10 days in order to get health care, at times bearing their sick and starving children along the way. Medical aid there was virtually non-existent. Temperatures daily soared well above 110 degrees, which made for the most unbearable living conditions in all of Africa. As she was reading, I noticed a picture of the Danan girl next to the article. She looked about my age, which frightened me immensely. Not all girls are like me. Without letting her finish, I ran upstairs to my room and grabbed my allowance money. I had been saving for an American girl doll. I handed the money, I handed the money to another asking, can you send this money to the, that organization? I don't need another doll. They need the $32 more than I do. From that moment it hit me that I could make a difference in people's lives. A small difference, but still an incredible one. When my friends would ask, Renee, why don't you want a birthday present? I thought you wanted clothes for an American Girl doll. I would always respond with the simple answer, because the children need medicine. For $100, the medical clinic stays open for one day. Just knowing that my money is making a difference in people's lives still makes me tear up to this day. Why do I still collect money every year from, for Danan in lieu of birthday gifts? Simply, it gives me joy. Words cannot express the feeling I have when I send them hope. There is just something about that feeling that has become a part of me. It inspires me to do more and drives me to ask how I can keep making a difference. A haunting image of the dying young girl with crusty eyes and flies on her face has stuck in my mind since I have been nine. I will never know for sure what impact my $2,000 has made. But even if I have changed the life of one child, it was money well spent. As most people can see, my donations as a gift to the people of Ethiopia, I see it as a birthday gift from them. So that's very nice. And, uh, <laughs> Jimmy Kayer and Celeste are the mother and father of that young girl and are here to join us tonight. So you've done a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.